this 2023 election, we all know that it was filled with fraud. Yes, I make failed us. Professor Mahmoud Yakubu failed Nigeria in every aspect. After all the promises he made and no one was kept, I make has the right to make their rules and they have rules themselves that they are supposed to follow, but they didn't follow it. For all of you that kept saying that the election was free and fair, just like Lai Mohammed and even FFK, who came out to say that if Tinubu, those of you that say that Tinubu will not be sworn in, will be drowned in the Red Sea. Well, shame on all of you because you know the truth and you are turning it upside down just like Festus Kayamu and the rest of you. The truth will always prevail and that is why we are calling on the judiciary to do the need for. It was Guys, only yesterday watch this video. I took a story of the ethnic chairman. He actually gave a press briefing on Monday. Mm -hmm. Trying to calm down tension when Dino Melaye and all those opposition party leaders were there to challenge the collation of the re result. And the INEC chairman said that they should calm down because he's going to finish the collation process and then review the documents before announcing the winner. I believe that we had Sumner Sambo. Who was that? Who is our reporter that was on ground at the Abuja Collation Center, saying that they were all surprised when the INEC chairman announced Bola Metinbu as the winner? Let's take that uh, video um, of the INEC chairman on Monday when he talked about reviewing the results collated before announcing the winner. The process has to be concluded first before you can then talk about power to review. I want to assure political parties the evidence that you have of any alleged wrongdoing at any level of the process, whether it's at the polling unit or at coalition level, please forward this information. And I promise you, as soon as the process is concluded, we'll then do the review as provided by law. On this note, I beg you to for us to proceed with the process. Thank you very much. We see the INEC chairman here. He's reneged again on his promise. Uh, the INEC chairman is a returning officer and he has the power to decide based on the feel of the people, the thought process of the people. And he did attend the briefing where opposition leaders were saying that we have all these results and they are not telling what you have. And he did in that video say we should remain calm so that the coalition process would come to a close. Now, before reviewing the documents, what are your thoughts on that? Sorry to say, but I don't believe anything the INEC chairman says. I'm sorry to say that. This was the same INEC chairman that says that results were transmitted on IRF. But he didn't do what he said before, so I don't take his words seriously. And what he might just have said was just to calm down frayed nerves. And also, I take anything INEC says as a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. INEC has been greatly discredited with this action because they have constantly violated the law. It is written crystal clear. You have guidelines. You follow the guidelines. You follow the guidelines. You have the power to make your own law. As enshrined in our constitution, section 160. Yes, there was a proviso there. And specifically, INEC was mentioned. And you laid out the guidelines. These are the rules of the game. You and I know the rules of offside in football. You and I know the rules of what constitutes a goal. The rules of football were reviewed. That you can actually still annul a goal after a VAR check if the circumstance doesn't meet up. So what you are saying invariably is you are changing the rules in the middle of the game. And you expect people. What are your rules? Your rules are your guidelines. And the lawyer here already go, go, alluded to that. Yes. So if he changes that and people raise concerns about that and he proceeds, his word doesn't carry weight.